Some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have been asking, what have we been doing over the last few weeks? Well, I'll tell you what we've been doing. We've been protecting babies born alive. We've been protecting families from the invasive audits of the Internal Revenue Service, or at least trying to, if Chuck Schumer doesn't block us. Trying to protect the Strategic Petroleum Reserve from 200 million barrels being dumped by the president, heading right into an election. Lo and behold. And now how about protecting last week nurses and doctors from being fired for daring to want to protect their own health and well-being by not taking a shot, a shot which the CDC director says does nothing for transmission of COVID. Those are the facts. We're standing with the American people. American people who are sick and tired of an overbearing federal government sticking its nose where it doesn't belong into the well-being, into the health, into the jobs, into the lives of the American people. That's the truth. Now what are we trying to do? Today, we want to protect individuals from being punished if they want to try to come to the United States but haven't had a vaccine. Again, a vaccine which the CDC director says does nothing for transmission. Those are the truth. Here's the fact. Right now, a vaccinated non-citizen with COVID can enter the United States via air travel, but an unvaccinated non-citizen who doesn't have COVID would be denied entry. That is the logic of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. That is, there is no logic. That's the problem. Everything about COVID has been free of logic and rather full of emotion. That's the truth. And we've been destroying the American economy. We have been destroying the future of our children, forcing them into the corners with masks, forcing them to uh, be denied education, destroying the futures of families whose, whose family members have lost jobs, who haven't been able to serve, who haven't been able to carry out their livelihoods as doctors, as nurses, as public servants who have been unable to carry out their jobs, including men and women in uniform, until Republicans demanded in December that we protect our men and women in uniform from getting fired, from daring to say, I don't want to have a needle stuck in my arm when there's plenty of evidence indicating myocarditis and other concerns that arise from it. Wonder why we haven't had any committees by my or committee uh, uh, hearings by my colleagues on the other side of the aisle diving into the origins of COVID, diving into the side effects of the vaccine. Well, we're going to do it now. And history is going to judge us. And we're going to be on the side of protecting the American people. And I'll tell you one last thing. This is the capital city of the United States of America. And Congress has the authority to protect the people who want to visit here and to make sure that American citizens are the ones who vote. It is not a state. It is our nation's capital seat. I yield back.